turn to former Energy Secretary and U.N. Ambassador Bill Richardson, who has worked to help secure Otto Warmbier's release for more than a year. Secretary Richardson, good morning to you, sir. As I mentioned, you were working on this for more than a year, and apparently Otto Warmbier has been in a coma for the bulk of that time. Were you shocked to learn that? And, and what do you think caused that condition? I was absolutely shocked. Uh, my representatives and my foundation have been meeting in the last year at least 20 times with the North Koreans in New York to try to secure the release of Otto, find out his conditions, uh, make sure the Swedish government, which represents us in North Korea, have access to him for a lot of medical reasons. And they never said anything about his condition. Mm. I think their actions are unconscionable. Uh, I believe that their excuse of botulism and taking a sleeping pill is very spurious. It, it's wrong. I think there's a cover-up going on. Uh, we spoke to the family. They called our foundation uh, spokesman yesterday morning, gave us a heads up of what was happening. This is a wonderful family. This is a fine young man, but uh, he's in a coma. And the question is, why didn't the North Koreans disclose this uh, under international norms to the United States, to the Swedish government? Why has he been in a coma for 17 months without uh, notifying not just his parents, the international community, and the United States? This is, this is very, very serious. Ambassador, I, I can't believe I'm, I'm actually asking this question, but Dennis Rodman arrives there yesterday, the same day of Mr. Warren Beer's uh, release, and then the State Department insists that there's no correlation between the two. Do you buy that? Well, yes. I, I, I think Dennis Rodman has been there before. I don't think his visits have been good or productive. But the fact is, he has a relationship with Kim Jong-un. So he's the only game in town. They may be telling him something about Otto's condition or about a potential dialogue. I don't think so. I don't think he would be a good diplomatic channel. But uh, he's the only American that's ever spoken to Kim Jong-un. So uh, what we have is a situation that's totally uncertain. But I think the focus has to be not just on Otto Warmbier, but there are three other Americans there and a Canadian that are detained. The North Koreans, as a goodwill humanitarian gesture, should release him immediately, especially after this fiasco. Well, sir, I know you'll continue to work on it. I know the, the State Department and Secretary Tillerson are working on it. Thank you, and please give our regards to the family. They've been through a lot. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.